Happy New Year, it is 2020. It's a new year filled with new beginnings and a lot of potential. I hope you had an amazing holiday and looking forward to the year as much as I'm looking forward to it. You can probably guess the one phrase on everyone's lips, New Year's resolutions. And in this video, I'll be sharing five tips when it comes to writing down and going after your New Year's resolutions for 2020. Enjoy. How many of 2019's New Year's resolutions did you actually reach? Does that question make you feel uncomfortable? Usually it does because we never want to go back to the goals that we didn't reach. Well done to you if you have reached some of your goals in 2019. But I want you to feel that uncomfortable feeling of not reaching all of your goals in 2019 because the most important part is actually learning from that. So here are five tips that help me with my New Year's resolution. Tip number one, learn from 2019. I know it might seem hard and sometimes it's difficult to go back in time and learn from the mistakes you've made, but always remember that you can learn from the successes as well. So I want you to think of one goal that you did reach. What were all of those ingredients in that recipe that helped you to reach the goal? The people you surround yourself with, perhaps the way you equipped yourself, how motivated you are, what motivated you. Think, think of all of those ingredients and write them down on the side of a paper. Then think of a goal you didn't reach. And I know this is difficult and it might seem very negative going into the new year, but bear with me, think of a goal you didn't reach. Write down what prevented you from reaching this goal. Didn't you have enough support? Was it a goal that you really didn't want to reach, actually? Uh, what were the things that prevented you? Write those next to the ingredients that helped you. And now I want you to take all of those ingredients and make sure that you make the best recipe with the right ingredients when it comes to 2020. So for me, one of the goals that I didn't reach in 2019 was to say no more often. I wanted to say no more often to enable myself to prioritize and spend more time with my family. And at the end of year, the year, I ended up being so overwhelmed with so many things in my life and that is something that I'm going to learn from uh, in 2020. Tip number two, use existing habits wisely. We all know how difficult it is to learn something new, to learn a healthy habit from scratch. So an easier way to do that is to use already existing habits like drinking coffee in the morning or watching television at night and linking a new habit with that. Let's say one of your New Year's resolutions is to be more self-aware and to reflect more about your life and about things that you learn through life. So take that already existing habit, the drinking of the coffee or the tea, and connect the new habit you want to learn with that. So start reflecting while you drink coffee or tea. Let's say you watch about an hour of television every night, but a new habit you want to form is to be more flexible and maybe to stretch a bit more in 2020. So use that hour to stretch while you watch television. Tip number three, recommitment. And this is a lesson that I've learned the hard way and I'll tell you a bit more about that. So just after I won Miss World, I was on such a high. I just reached an amazing goal and I very quickly found myself kind of rolling down the slope, not wondering or wondering where am I, what am I doing, you know, is this all worth it? And I realized that what happened was I didn't recommit to a new goal after that. So a lot of the times we are very inspired, very motivated about our New Year's resolutions. We write them down, 
and then we forget to recommit. So make sure that your New Year's resolutions become weekly or even monthly resolutions. Go over them, make sure they're still viable. Make sure that you still want to reach that goal. Sometimes they change and that's also fine. So always remember to recommit. Tip number four, have a support structure. We all know how difficult it is to try to do something on our own. I know that being women, a lot of the times we feel like we have to do everything on our own. We have to feed the kids, we have to work, we have to uh, be financially independent. We basically have to do everything on our own. But as soon as you realize that you are so much stronger when you do it together, it makes it so much easier. Make sure that you surround yourself with those people, the friends, the family that will support you, that will motivate you, but those that will also keep you accountable. So those that as soon as you tell your goal to will ask you every week, okay, have you reached this? Are you doing this? Is it difficult? Why is it difficult? How can I help? So make sure that you do have an amazing support system for 2020. Tip number five. Don't forget about the present. We always tend to live so far in the future, trying to think of things that we want to achieve, goals that we want to reach, that sometimes we forget about today. We forget about the present. And I am so guilty of this because I'm a doer. I love doing things. I find myself very often living in the future, working out a plan um, of where I want to be. But if I don't remind myself to come back to today, to come back to the present and to know that this is all I have and I've already come a long way, I might just fall in that trap of never feeling enough, never feeling good enough. So I hope that while you are writing your New Year's resolutions for 2020, you might find these tips very helpful. So just to recap, number one is learn from last year's mistakes and successes. Number two is to use already existing habits wisely. Number three, remember to recommit. Number four, have an amazing support structure. And number five, learn to also live in the present. I am going to try tip number four now, which is a support structure that might keep me accountable. So I want you guys to keep me accountable on one of my New Year's resolutions for 2020. I want to build my coaching practice and coach as many women as possible to really make a difference with the time that I have while being a mom of two. What is your New Year's resolution? Please comment that in the comment section below and you have a support system on my YouTube channel and hopefully we will keep each other accountable. Happy 2020, it's a new year with new beginnings and you have a second chance to make sure that you become that person you want to be. If you like this video, be sure to watch some other videos on my channel too and don't forget to subscribe.